Hi, this lecture is about categorical variables and random forest. So the strategy one is that we drop columns in the training and validation data where there are categorical variables. Another strategy would be to convert the column value into distinct integers that is called a label encoding. The problem is as follows. The train data set column has a set of categorical values. The validation data set column has a set of categorical values. If the train data set column categorical value set does not match with the valid data set column categorical value set, then the error occurs. So what is the solution? We retain only those columns in the re train and validation set where the set of categorical values match in the train and the validation set. We will explore this in detail with a concrete example. So let's jump in to strategy three. Strategy three is one hot encoding, which is well illustrated with an example. Suppose there is a column called sport and these are the values that are there in these columns. Cricket, football, tennis, football, tennis, tennis, cricket. What we do is that for each value, we create one column. Cricket, football, tennis. And whenever that value occurs, like cricket occurs, it becomes one hot. That means a one becomes there and the others are zero. Similarly, which you see that if for the football, the one occurs in football. For tennis, it occurs as one. So this is a, these are the strategies. Let's jump in and see that in action. So we go back and then um, we use the same house sales data. We read the data and we read the train set, the test set. We remove the rows with the missing target and separate the target from the predictors. And this is what is happening. The X has all the predictors and Y has a sale price which is to be uh, considered. And then with strategy one, what we do, we to keep things simple, we drop all columns with missing values. We break off the validation set from the training data and here we do a train test split with the train size of 0.8, test size of 0.2, 80% training, 20% testing. We scored the data set and here what we are doing, we are using a random forest regressor. And the error that what we are getting, the metric we are using is a mean absolute error. Now it's strategy one, what we are doing is that we exclude all the columns with categorical data and this is what we are doing. And here then we are scoring the data set to get the mean absolute error and we are using the random forest regressor and the MA approach is 17837. The label encoding approach, so what we are doing is that we are label encoding it and then we are label encoding both the train and the test set. The problem is happening is that there is an error because the validation set does not have certain values which the test set has and therefore it has all these unseen values which are there. So, so here uh, the problem is with the uh, the problem is here with the column and then what we do is that the condition two column which has these values the norm, posse, feeder, posen, artery and RRE and in the validation data uh, some of them are not appearing. So that is what is causing the problem and uh, like the RRAN. So what we do here is that we consider only those columns that can be safely encoded. That means those object or the categorical values 
which are there in the train set as well as in the validation set. So this is what it is doing. So the train column has certain values for the categorical data and the validation set has some categorical uh, values for the categorical column. If they do not match, then we are disregarding them. So this is a set where which can be safely encoded and then we drop the problematic columns. So here what is happening, we have got those categorical columns which are there and we are dropping those bad columns where the data in the training set categorical values do not match with the data in the validation set. So we are dropping it here and we are getting the labels. Now what we are doing, we are applying the label encoder and now we are getting the MAE from that. So it is 17449. Let us see it whether it is greater, which is less or not. Yes, it is much more less. Now let us investigate the cardinality of the categorical columns. So so these are some of the ways in which these are the object columns we are getting the entries for each of the columns and we are getting certain values. So what is happening is that we are seeing that these are the categorical uh, data there, categorical columns and the number of unique values it is happening range from 5 to maximum it is around 25. So why we are doing it is because if we do, as we have seen, the one hot encoding, each value becomes a column. So if the number of values in the categorical value increases, the number of column will increase. And that would make the data set having a lot of columns with having zeros. So that's the strategy that we are trying to do. And what we are doing is that we are seeing that these are the ones which are having a lot of values. So, so what we are doing here, we are only choosing those columns which are to be one hot encoded where the number of unique values of that categorical variable is less than 10. So that means these uh, things like the exterior first, exterior second and neighborhood will be excluded from our data set. So these are the high cardinality columns and we are uh, dropping it. So these will be dropped and then what we are doing is that we are doing only on the low cardinality columns that is which is having the categorical values which are unique values which are less than 10. And then we do uh, one hot encoding. And we are adding the numerical features also. And now what we see it is 17533, which is uh, slightly more than that. But uh, this is only one pass. So to get the actual thing, we should do a cross validation. But the intention of this whole exercise is that we have got the three strategies that is the removing of the categorical variables, then there is a categorical label encoding, and then we have the one hot encoding. So this lecture is all about that. Hope you like the lecture with the strategies involving the categorical variables. Thank you so much. Bye.